probably wants to keep things more horizontal, so he can kind of keep them away horizontally. Um, where your neutral is probably going to be PS2. Something yeah. like that. A little bit of mix of both. So Wario, I feel like he's going to be like jumping over the middle a lot as he tries to find like a way through that wall and not having to like encounter kind of the hydrant while he just has to like, I don't know, find a way around it and kind of like the middle right there with the Pokeballs, that's lava to Wario. He doesn't want to get to that area. He wants to go around it and on the sides. Yeah, because Tia's going to set up shop here with like the hydrant over on the green part of the stage while he's standing on that, that little silver part of the ledge. But, yeah. Oh my goodness, as soon as we're talking about all the stage positioning, <laughs> they go into a boxing match under the stage on the right, but everyone's living so far. Mm -hmm. So right now, Loaf has him off on the edge. Let's see if he can get something there. He goes for the command and grab, but he gets in the middle. He gets out of it right away. That Pokemon is lava, I'm telling you. But he is doing a great job in keeping like away from the hydrant. Here he goes with the Galaxian Fruit, as I thought so. Just kind of like keeping him away. I don't know. Like, you can snipe him out in. of the air with that. Goes for the high bike. Yes. But just get in there with an up air and just reset the situation. So as long as the situation keeps staying reset, I feel like T's an advantage. Yes. Oh, so it's interesting. I feel like T's going to have an easier time getting his kills in neutral. But so far, we've seen about maybe like two neutral interaction wins from Loaf, maybe three or so while like about six or so from uh, from T's Pac-Man. So he's won more, so thus he has more damage, but I feel like per neutral interaction, Loaf's actually getting more of like a punishment out of here, but also that's just like the nature of this match of Wario versus Pac-Man. Yeah, Wario's combo game is pretty strong, but okay, going high for the snipe, uh, setting up that double jump off of the Hydrant, just get a little bit of extra hang time yep. there to make, make sure you can snipe Wario out of the air. But no stocks going either way yet, a minute and a half into this game. Bell on deck, trying to find a kill option out of there, but he's just going to keep him to the corner, but he pokes him away, keeping stage control, but a Hydrant is going to knock him back over there. Let's see how he can get out of this situation, but an Apple's not going to quite do it. A little wave land on the side platform was nice from Loaf because he wanted to actually turn that momentum around a little bit just yeah. to stay away from like the vertical range that T had mm -hmm. to get another up air in or maybe even a back air, which would have been more, more lethal. Oh, let it rip. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> sometimes Pac-Man just has to do that because he doesn't really have too many combos into like kill moves, unless it's like a bell, of course. Um, but Forest Match is a super strong move, and it's just, you know, it's deceptively large. It's super disjointed, so why not? And if Wario just misspaces by a tiny bit, that's it for him in that. Yeah, if Wario overextended just a little bit by dashing in aggressively, and that's what T took advantage of here. And now 54% already racked up onto Loaf as he tries to find a way to seal this stock. One of my favorite things about Pac-Man stealing like a stop with a forward smash because like as your opponent you think, all right, so now I need to avoid that area. So you're gonna come like more vertically. But you know what happens vertically then? Up smash. The exact same move, just the other way. It's almost <laughs> like a 50-50 in terms of covering that space. But despite all that space being covered, Loaf is able to find the first stop there. Not too hard. Like and honestly, like 85 isn't the worst when he has a full walk ready to go. Yeah, th that waft could be very much a clutch factor here on this second stock. We'll have to see how he plays it out. But this bell is also a super, super threatening. That actually almost catches oh, the jump. Okay. But without a bike. Team, where are you going? Okay. Woo. I was worried. I didn't know if he had a double jump or not, but he did have it. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been able to get back because of that bike on stage. Like we said, T the Mad Scientist. He saw that stun all the way under the stage. He's like, I can go down there and get oh, this yeah. back here. I have the recovery tools to make it back. This is not an overextension for me. Might as well give it a shot. Exactly. We just saw that first up air or up tilt coming out from Loaf, so you know he's looking for that up tilt to wall percent, which based on stage position could possibly kill even at this percent. Yeah, and the rage will also be very much a factor exactly. in making sure that KOs. But T just gonna play slow and steady, just putting the hydrants in the way. Like his game, yep. his natural game plan plays well around the WAF anyway. But okay, the bell from down below. Loaf knows what he's doing here with this Pac-Man bonus fruit. Yep. I've seen him like setting up this way, almost like kind of baiting out T to throw out the bell. And I'm like, he's baiting it, but he's not getting hit by it. This is really good. Is he thinking of taking it? And he was able to get it successfully. And he's only gotten hit by the bell once, but in a position where he at least couldn't be converted off at that like right. lower right off stage area. So he's playing this Pac-Man matchup really, really well right now. Despite him being so far behind, like as yeah. long as it's stock parity, you, you don't really necessarily mind that as Wario, because as you mentioned, the, the, the X factor of Waff can just turn around in an instant, but wow, that apple just lingered forever on the ledge. Do you ever just imagine Smash sometimes? You have Wario just dying to just like a little apple just kind of chilling it, which is 2D <laughs> by the way. <laughs> Smash is goofy, man. Yeah. This is just two goofy characters going at it anyway. A space should be considered a fruit sturm. I don't know. This is <laughs> kind of a game here. Like Bayonetta dying on an apple would be a little bit more of a culture clash. Just the, the serious versus the goofy. Yeah. But in this matchup, I could, it makes a little bit more sense. <laughs> but while this damage racking up in an instant again, T's combo game is insane. And again, like you mentioned it, the Pokeball is hot lava. Yeah. Another forward smash hits its mark. Yep. 
Now taking 84% here while barely being hit this stock in general, going for a bigger conversion but not able to get it. Otherwise, it's like a normal hit would have been some good damage, but he wants the entire kill to end this game right All now. Right. But with some charge, he's got it. He wanted to go for some sneaky stuff on that right platform. Oh, yeah. That would have been like a Z drop reverse back air or something. I don't know what he had in mind, but again, the mad scientist T, you can never count him out in any yeah. situation. He looks calm and collected. All the wheels in his head are turning, trying to figure out exactly what those crazy conversions are. And I'm sure we're going to be seeing a lot of them throughout this bracket. Now, I do believe this round for sure, I, I, would, I would bet like 20 bucks that this round is best of three. Yeah. Next round, maybe it could be best of five, but I'm pretty sure that, that both of these rounds in top 384 winner side of bracket are best of three. Would not be surprised. I'm pretty sure it is. I should have double checked. That, I'm... I would bet a nickel on that. The second round, anyway. Okay. I bet 20 bucks on this one. So, guys, Loaf is uh, on his winner's game, potentially, yes. here, as he can't turn it around versus T. And they, they kept it very nice and close for the first stock. And then the second stock was also pretty close. And the third stock was just T found that big opening, ran through it, and found like a crazy setup to just take out that Wario before he could even fire the Waff in the first place. And, ooh. So he Tough forced spot. him up super far there, which at least got him to use the bike, but he wasn't quite able to nab him out before he grabbed the laser. So good job on Loaf, just keeping it calm, keeping it collected, kind of get back there. But already such an explosive start here from T. It's, it's wild what he's doing with this. His extension game, for, like you mentioned it actually when we were talking about the stages, he loves to go for those extensions horizontally. Yes. That's exactly what put Loaf in this sticky situation to start things out hot in game two. And that's why I like this match though, picked by Loaf, because you know, you're going to take that longer stage, which is going to crunch it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Including those platforms, just bring them together in the middle there. He's going to be like using that a lot to kind of double jump. But what I don't like about it is, which was probably forced just because of like T stage fans and everything, is that it's you don't have as much room to kind of like land in a specific spot. You know if you're going to go to a platform, there's only one platform to go for. Yeah, and there's nowhere to go from that ledge. That bell has rung on Loaf's first stock. He is looking pretty battered and bruised already so far in game two. And uh, what I mentioned on some of my previous uh, casting box today is that when you're fighting against a zoner on this stage, you usually want to get that aerial drift in diagonally, right, to yes. get in over the, the zoning projectiles and the hydrant in this case. Mm -hmm. But that big platform in the center can be disruptive to that game plan. Definitely. It can be tricky to get in on a zoner on Smashville, even though that stage is smaller. We've essentially had T lap low here in percent. He's only 3% off in that, but uh, Keeping super healthy, and I love that just like when you have this kind of percentage lead, like one of my biggest like like ideas with Smash is like as soon as you get like a 50% lead into like the next stock, that's huge because a lot of your top tier starting out combos are from 0 to 40, so as soon as you kind of get beyond that point, mm. that's just when you see like a real lead. Because people say like you can never have a lead in Smash, sure, that's true, but that's like where your leads start to really happen, and you start to be really comfortable, and but I mean like he doesn't have quite enough rage here to like kind of get like an easier kill, but this is still looking like tough right now. I don't know. <laughs> Did you see Love just barely eat that bonus? Fruit? Yes. I think that was the bell too, which would have been. It was. That would have been. That's the difference between life and death. But okay, I guess the difference between life and death was only a couple of seconds because given the toe taps with that down air over on the right side is going to take out the stock. Just barely misses the edge right here. But is he able to make it back safe? Let's even get a kill conversion right here when he has T off to the side. Not quite, but. Ooh! Hello! <laughs> the one two special. And T is running away with this one now. He Forcing the walk to yep. recover. The bike wasn't quite ready yet, because not like Smash 4, the bike does take a few extra seconds from disappearing until it is able to be used again. So that was good on T, realizing that like he had to basically use the bar there, so now he doesn't have that offensive option. He can kill, like, just take it out quickly and have a safer second stop. Yeah, Lo Loaf got the stock in the end, so you, you have to feel at least good about that, but yeah. your prospects for the rest of this match are much lower as that walk timer is completely reset. Yeah. yeah, I don't think we'll be seeing another walk here at this point, because at 132%, he's going to have to camp for a good, like, I don't know, I lost count, like, maybe 70 seconds or so, so that's, like, a decent walk. Yeah, about another minute, I want to say. But Although, as we were talking about the difference in waft, yeah. Loaf ran up 100% on the second stock of T, so he is starting to cook something. This is true, but he's going to have to find a kill, because at this point, he needs the waft for that last stock, I feel like. There's no way around mm. that. If he can just keep this ledge pressure situation going, that will buy some time, too. Oh! Oh, my he gosh! the trampoline! He used it! How? The bike sniped I know, but that like... That was nuts! It fell down so perfectly horizontal, it was almost like behind the lip there. The fact, I was, he was holding it for so long. What is he playing with this? He knows this matchup inside and out. Who is from this state that plays Pac-Man he's practicing with? This is crazy. Man, love, that was such a sick snipe. I hope we can see a game three here. I don't know how. Again, it's still going to take a miracle because this deficit is still a lot. Well, that win condition we were talking about is there because of... 
<laughs> he has the waft just about ready. At this point, it is a healthy half waft at this point. So all he needs to do is tack on about maybe 40% or so. Then he'll be at the full waft, and he could steal this out. We'll have to see, but that, that uh, high hydrant is going to snipe him out of that recovery. Put him in the corner once again. That bouncing little apple was so threatening earlier, but we're able to sneak by. He's adapting very well because that got him once. It's not going to get him a second time. But the fact that he's almost at falling hydrant kill percent is insane because now Pac-Man's going to be able to like, camp vertically as well, which is like normally Wario's turf. And now almost. Oh. Ooh. That was oh. so close. But Casps in the crowd as Loaf does fall 2-0 to T. He was pixels away from finding that second hit of the neutral air, oh. and we all know where that leads. 